Never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life Hello Tribes, it's me, Donna Bliss And I'm here to vlog about And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came I have just been exposed to this idea of You know, when people say You're looking at the world Or you're looking at your situation through the lens of a rose-tinted glass or when they say that your filter is so distorted or your filter comes from a pain it's just an analogy but when somebody say to you looking through a rose-tinted glass it's like when you're an abused person when you're in a marriage for example it doesn't matter if you are male or female but when your partner is emotionally abusing you and you're saying that it's okay because this is what marriage is or you're saying you're imprisoning yourself you're saying oh but the prison is colored purple and it's nice inside the prison and this prison cell the door is wide open it's like no you don't want divorce no you don't want separation because ah oh, god forbid what will your parents think of you what will the society will think of you and everybody will judge you that something's wrong with you it's a reason why you look at something through a colored glass it's like you're making it seems that your filter is is very nice you know even if the vision is shitty you know what i mean now one example of a distorted lens is when you have a traumatic experience for example i know this girl um, this girl grew up in an environment where when she was in grade school every day her mom would tell her you're stupid you're you know when you're little and your brain is still forming you believe anything your carer or carers your parents will tell you so that's what happened to her she thought that she's unworthy she's not enough and so you know when um, kids grow up you know they have admirers and everything she couldn't understand why this most handsome guy in the whole school had a crush on her she couldn't understand why and now that she's an adult she's she was thinking oh okay now i realize why even if the most handsome guy in school you was, know courting me she felt like she was not worthy of that attention because growing up no matter what her peers told her, no matter what her friends told her, that she's beautiful, pretty, whatever. But at home, every day, she was being put down, emotionally put down by her, you know, carers. She never believed anything, even growing up and e even when she was an adult, she didn't believe what she can do. Because when her brain was forming when she was little, she believed that she was stupid. And so I will end up this vlog by saying if you want to know why you're insecure with something well what I did was go through my memories in my childhood because I tell you there are lots of things that we're doing now as an adult in result of what we had when we were little when we were growing up it has something to do with our environment it has something to do with how we were treated when we were kids and a lot of relationships fail because of our whatever it is it might be rose tinted filter or a distorted filter because of the survival kind of living you're in survival mode but i'm trying to heal my life now and with healing you need to have what they say the dark night of the soul where you have to study yourself without judgment the worst and the best of who you are you need to study and you just have to accept 
and if you accept all your failures and all your fuckery then you just have to make sure that tomorrow will be a new day it's a new chance to be a new you we all have insecurities no matter how successful we are in life or in some cases if you don't have insecurities then you have something that you're trying to some challenges that you're trying to, to improve or maybe you're just contented of what you are and there's nothing wrong with that if you're happy of who you are what you are then there's no changes that you need to do in your life but if you're constantly asking why is this happening to you why is this situation happening to you then you need to study all your past all your patterns and make sure that you're not in denial you don't lie even to yourself that all your choices have consequences it's called cause and effect some say it's karma whatever you give to the universe it will come back to you whatever you call it but if you want to be a better person and you want a different result in your life then you just need to change your patterns so that you can have a different result finally light and love Mwah.